Hello, dear vendors, and welcome to another Panda class. It's time to scale up your business with Food Panda and learn all about the tips and tricks on how to grow your business and gain business exposure. With our growth tools or marketing tools in the portal, we are here to help you out by sharing a lot of case studies and how to manage them. Now, without further ado, I am Clarissa, your vendor engagement specialist and host for today, and let's get going. Let's start off with Get Business Exposure. Now, here we will discuss the importance of branding and exposure. Why is it important? Before we delve into strategies, we need to fully understand it, especially the importance of advertising to our consumers. And we have three points for that. We have Stand Out, Grow Your Fan Base, and Improve Brand Recall. So let's start with Standing Out. By Standing Out, siyempre, we have to stand out amidst oversaturation. So in the modern day, um, right now, all consumers are given or overloaded with options and opinions online. Now you, signing up on the platform as is, is like opening a new restaurant. And of course, being on the platform itself is already marketing. It already makes sure that people know about your brand. Because you're in Food Panda, na kayo. anyone can easily open the open the app and check for food. If let's say they search for some type of cuisine, they can easily find you there. Now, that is why visibility is important. Because visibility means that consumers or customers are aware of you. They can see you. And the best news is, hindi na ganun kamahal. It no longer costs big bucks to increase visibility. Now, secondly, grow your fan base. You have to promote a bunch of new stuff like dishes and combos to retain your patrons' interest and increase new customers. Here is how um, you can keep things interesting for them. So, pag may laging bago, lagi silang mapap- magiging intrigued to try it out. Diba? And lastly, of course, you have to achieve top-notch brand recall. What is brand recall? It is simply your brand being the first thing that consumers think of when they think of a particular item. So it keeps you on top of customers' mind. Diba? So kung kunyari sinabi kong burger, automatic, ito dapat yung restaurant na to. Or if I say fried chicken or french fries, ah, ito agad na, na restaurant na to yung naisip ko. So this is how um, people recognize you or like I said, the brand recall itself. The first brands that pop up into a customer's mind when they have, um, when they think of a specific item. And if naisip agad yung brand niyo, then you have succeeded in embedding your, um, you in embedding your brand into the customer's mind and everyday life. So how did these brands come to your mind? Kung sinabi kung burger, fried chicken, or french fries. Diba? You have to get to where they are. And how did they do it? First off, good products. Sure, basic na yun sa business, but that's not enough. Second don is good marketing. And lastly, maximum brand exposure. So with these three things in mind, let's get right into building your business. Let's set your objectives and goals. But by going to the next topic, plan for success. So let's plan for success. In planning for success, you don't need um, big bucks to achieve top results. All you have to do is plan out your strategy properly with the following in mind. So first off, set company goals and objectives. So here, it has to be achievable and measurable. You have to take, whether you have to take baby steps or big steps so that you can see how you're progressing and to keep you on track with your goals. Siyempre, you have to define your short-term and long-term goals. You have to pick different marketing tools for different goals if kailangan. So, we are we are all aware of short-term and long-term goals. Um, if you're not familiar, short-term, dapat within three months lang kayang gawin. And long-term, of course, six to 18 months here. So, up to a year or more. Diba? So, big steps talaga. Next, Memorable meals. You have to map out opportune moments so that you can tap on to maximize your spend. So, syempre, plan your promotional periods. So, dito, um, you have to 
be wise on how to spend wisely on extra stocks or in the menu. If you have new meals to offer for your customers, you have to um, plan it ahead of time. Promotional periods, holidays, diba? You have to schedule special items or combos around the holidays and special occasions. And that is where you can bring maximus, maximum results. And lastly, multi-channel marketing. So use both online and offline channels to increase awareness for your ongoing food panda offers. Use every channel available to you. Siyempre, with social media, everything's free and hindi mo na kailangan gumastos. You don't have to do paid ads. You, ha- you can do organic ads on Facebook, Instagram. You can just use the word of mouth of people uh, that know your restaurant para ma-advertise kayo for free, di ba? So, kung may TikTok kayo, feel free to use TikTok. Use Twitter, use Twitter, di ba? Kung email um, send-outs ang gusto ninyo, yung mga may newsletter, why not, di ba? Send out emails or whatever you want to advertise the product or your business mismo. And that way, you can get to more customers. Yeah. You can also do offline. Siyempre, kung may budget kayo, mag, uh, mag-post up ng, or mag-put up ng mga posters or flyers, give it away to other people. Diba? Those are different uh, types of marketing that you can easily um, do without spending too much. And that's also another, um, and another channel, siyempre, is Food Panda itself. With Food Panda, you signing up in Food Panda, meron na kayong free marketing. Now, before all that, let's dive further into these three pillars. Yung goals and objectives, memorable meals, and multi-channel marketing. So, what are goals and what are objectives? In general, goals are guidelines, while objectives are steps to take to achieve your goals. And often, these are specific and measurable with a, def- with a definite completion date. So, on goals, again, overarching guidelines, ano yung gusto nyo achieve and objectives, seems steps to take that. So, yung, kunyari, I want to put up a business. That's my goal. So, what are the objectives before I put up a business? Number one, get the business permit. Number two, or probably yung mga taxes, yung mga paperwork, government uh, papers. And number three, I need more marketing. So, I'll set up a social media account. Or if I want more marketing, sign up to Food Panda. Diba? So those are steps to take to get to starting my business, which is my goal. Now, let's define your goals. Let's start with that. Ask yourself, ano yung mga goals na you wish to achieve? When you first started your restaurant, ano yung goal mo? Bring that back and think about your previous goal when you started in Food Panda. How can you use that for your Food Panda business? Have a very clear, measurable, and attainable and of course, achievable objective tied to it. And that way, you can achieve it and bring you closer to it. So it's better to have both, no? Yung short-term and long-term. Kasi minsan connected yung dalawang yan. So let's say here, you have short-term goals. Yung short-term goal na to is to acquire a sizable and steady customer base on Food Panda. As you work your way towards the circle, you're closer and closer to your long-term goal, diba? Of growing earnings from Food Panda to 50% of total revenue stream, diba? So that's how goals work. You start with the short term, kasi it's immediate. You can get um, the results if you plan ahead. And of course, you can adjust accordingly and hold steady. And with the long-term goals, it's um, it, um, it helps you towards an end. And it gives you a more stable and longer direction. Yeah. So, let's go naman sa objectives. Objectives are in between. Yeah. So, with these goals in place, you have objectives na to lead you closer to these. So, in between, so short-term goal, meron tayong objective. So, yung objective before we get a sizable and steady customer base on Food Panda, we have to get 30 daily orders in 3 months. Yeah, diba? So, with getting 30 daily orders, dumadami yung customers natin, dumadami yung um, earnings natin, which gets us closer to the long-term goal. And some objectives, syempre, we can grow orders by 10% monthly and get an average order value of, like for here, $30. For let's say it's Philippines, mga 10K, diba? 10K or bigger if you want. Just get, uh, think big, and if kaya siya, if it's attainable, 
why not, di ba? So again, these objectives are measurable so you can track your progress. And of course, may time period siya. So you can plan appropriately and understand whether you're on track or not. Now, let's go forward now that we know goals and objectives. Let's plan and strategize. Now, let's start with short-term goals. Yung strategy natin to get to acquiring a sizable and steady customer base on Food Panda. Now, ang example namin dito are stairs kasi syempre, you, get, you have to get up and step, take steps to, to reach your goal. So, first off, so you've already signed up for Food Panda, you have to set up your marketing strategies. So, you have growth tools to help you reach your goal. We have a couple na examples right now, like this one, Panda Box. This one can acquire, uh, can help you acquire a new customer base. Kasi ito yung first thing they see in the app when they open it. Yung pagpindot ng restaurants, new um customers are new customers are given a timer, tas they will see Panda Box. Yeah. So number two, Panda Clicks. Yung Panda Clicks naman can drive menu visits. Kasi you can stand out from other listings by being part of the all restaurants swim lane or list. Ba? So all platform, um, in the platform, kit ng kita kayo doon. Now, as soon as you get up um, higher sa stairs natin, the more you stay in Food Panda, the more you retain your growth tools, the more and more you can hit your 30 daily orders in 3 months. And that's how you can acquire a sizable and steady customer base on Food Panda. Yeah. You only pay for what you get with these two tools naman. So it's nothing to worry about. But we'll discuss more on that later on. Let's move on to long-term goals. Now again, we're using the stairs to um to discuss this. So what do we do naman during the lull months? Yung mga months na walang holidays, walang promos, walang events. Then you have to keep the momentum going. So ito yung mga long-term goals na you wish to acquire accomplish in food panda. Um, syempre, hindi laging, again, hindi laging active yung promos natin. It can be a little um quieter on some months and some days. Then, you have to keep your customers interested naman in the long run. So, let's start with, of course, growth tools ulit yan. When we reach um, a certain point sa food panda, we have discounts to, of course, increase your order value. Siyempre, discounts. Everyone lo- loves um, yung mga 20% off, 15% off on items, diba? So, that's a good thing to draw their attention. And siyempre, we also have Panda Box again to acquire new customers once it pops up. So, once you've achieved um, getting your growth tools and maintain that, you can grow orders by 10% monthly and reach an average order value of $30. Or again, um, convert to Philippine Peso, that's more than enough, diba? So, and once you've achieved um, the objectives here, continuously do it lang. And then you can reach your long-term goal of grow earnings from Food Panda to 50% of total revenue stream. So, hindi lang kayo um, sa dine-in or in-store nakakaipon, nakapag-ipon din kayo in Food Panda. Now, here are a couple of tips and tricks. Siyempre, hindi lang tayo... Um, Nagula learn from basic guides. Diba? We also have tips for you guys to give you an idea on how to optimize your growth tools. First off, mark your calendar. So plan seasonal menus and offers. Again, means may mga events, diba. So maximize your budget. Ensure you are tapping onto existing holidays and celebrations. So if if ever um Christmas, New Year, um even Holy Week, if you want to, just um you can plan on get, getting on the holiday spirit or pub- to get the public's excitement over those. So, syempre, mga walang pasok, di ba? So, more likely, it's, kung di sila alis, di sila lalabas to eat out, they will probably order in, di ba? So, make sure they order in through the Food Panda app with your restaurant. Next one is create attractive combo deals. So, special offers and combo deals not only attract customers, but increase order value. So, syempre, again, kunyari Christmas, di ba? May 13th month pay. So, magalante ang mga tao and they would definitely order a lot of food. And seeing combo deals, syempre, they would be obliged to splurge, to buy more from you, di ba? So, that's a way to get them to buy from you. Hindi lang siya dahil, ah, holiday, ganyan. It's a promo. It's a deal. 
So, syempre, why not buy from you now? Baka mawala pa yung combo deal na yun. Diba? So, kung Christmas pa, may mga noche buena, media noche, pag New Year, diba? So, that's a way to um attract them. Lastly, spread the word. Syempre, hindi lang um sa Food Panda app ang promotions. You can also promote your Food Panda deals online through your social media account. To supplement all of your advertising tools, yun. you have to maximize talaga yung exposure ninyo. Then, syempre, so again, social media is cheap. You can go organic if you don't want to um, do paid ads. It's easy. And syempre, my word of mouth from other customers that already know your business. So yeah, understand which platform is um, popular lang in um, your area, the city. Most um, If you want to reach out to younger folks, minsan TikTok, Instagram. Or older folks, or somewhere in millennials, Instagram, diba? Facebook. So if you want, just know who your audience um should be, your target audience in you, and plan your posts accordingly. And syempre, again, if you have promos in Food Panda, feel free to um promote them. Um, feel free to promote them online, diba? So this will maximize talaga your effort in your exposure. Again, pro tip. Get your name out during the festive seasons. Say again, galante ang mga tao. <laughs> so, let's move on. How do we increase sales naman during non-festive seasons? So again, yung mga um, lull days, yung mga months na walang events, walang holidays. So here, yung marketing strategy natin, you have to keep your customers interested. So more on the long-term side, di ba? Create daily specials. So minsan may, may mga daily specials na... Kunyari, yung examples natin dito, tea break specials, mga milk tea, or no meat Mondays for um, some salad bars, or parang kung um, cafe kayo that serves a lot of um, a lot of meat-free products, di ba? Vegan products, then you can do that. Taco Tuesdays, Tasty Thursdays, and etc. etc. It's all up to you. Kasi it is your because it's your business eh, diba? that's how you can brand your business next show your customers some love so this one parang pwedeng um, loyalty rewards system so if ever na kunyari, you can connect it to your social media diba? if you order today from this time to this time at, in our food panda um from the food panda app you can get blah 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 discounts diba? so this one parang ano lang siya, parang extra um in pushing your customers to order. To syempre, ah, okay, kasi loyal, loyal liker ako or supporter ako ng page nila. Um, I'm getting this discount, diba? So, parang, ano siya, okay siya to drive more popularity and, of course, to drive more orders. Now, lastly, make some noise. So, again, spread the word about your offers. Kung meron nga ulit kayong mga food band offers, you can um, promote them online. So, usually, we have marketing um. Uh, we have marketing templates for you to share that, lalo na pag monthly. So make noise around the virtual world, stay active on social media, and spread the word about your promotions and daily specials. Now, pro tip namin dyan is use panda clicks to gain traction. Again, you only pay when a customer clicks and you're part of the all restaurant swim lanes. Kitang kita kayo. Now, before we continue with the topic, um, let's have a quick lightning round or parang um, just to break the ice a bit. This is a consultation. So I will flash this for a few seconds. You may also pause the video to scan this QR code. You will be taking a quick quiz and here ma discover niyo kung ano yung um, effective for your um, business, yung current needs niyo. So feel free to scan this and take the quiz. And once you are done, we can proceed. You can unpause and then we can proceed with the session. All right. So, so grow with us. Ito na. Are you ready to scale up your business? Let's start with case studies. So these are common concerns that um, vendors have when signing up sa Food Panda. What are the tools available? Let's start with case study one. So, I am a newly onboarded restaurant that sells bento meals. My main goal is to drive awareness and listing visibility on Food Panda. What should I do? So, si customer ABC, syempre, bago siya. What are the main reasons na nag-list siya sa Food Panda? And what is the reason 
to list in the first place. So, syempre, they want a steady stream of customers. So, being on Food Panda is similar to that. Increasing clicks to boost the listing is the same as increasing the number of walk-ins sa shop. Now, once customers are there, syempre, you want to ensure they actually buy something. Hindi pwedeng titignan lang nila dahil sa deals, di ba? So, structuring promotions is similar to creating a lunch or dinner set when dining in. So, let's resolve case study number one. So, starting off, so syempre, you have to set your objectives clearly. So, if you want to um, drive awareness and listing visibility sa goal ninyo, ano yung gusto natin start? Let's start with increasing to your traffic, your chances of getting orders. So, increase by blank percent. So, kunyari 20% muna, di ba? So, we can start small. And then, if you want, you can gain 10 plus new orders daily. That's another objective that you want. So, how can we do that? Diba? So, let's start with drumming up your uh, uh, awareness. So, again, make some noise online as much as possible. Kung hindi lang sa food panda online, best thing to do to do this is to announce it in your social media channels of course na check it out check us out on food panda nasa food panda na kami or get this new deal or parang special um menu item if you order from food panda diba? aside from that you can also of course set up some deals so we have panda box so it pops up to new customers or very old customers who haven't visited your shop in the last 90 days and of course we also have panda clicks to help you gain visibility and drive traffic by being part of the all restaurants we made so meron kayong ganong mga options now let's move on we have case study number two so here is si season seasoned vendor kana. So you've been with Food Panda for six months and now average only twenty orders a day. Pero you want to drive more order volume. How do we increase order volume? So in case two, goal again, the goal is to increase order volume. Firstly, you have to think about your objectives that can drive you to this goal. Realistically, how much would you like to grow your orders? So Again, ito, kunyari, 5% more. Week on week. Diba? Or, yung revenue, you want to increase it by 50%. So, let's move on to a strategy. How does one cre increase sales 5% week on week? And, how do we entice customers to check them out through special deals? Siyempre, ask yourself, are you continuously pushing promotions out? Are you um have you been updating your menu? So again, may latest or new food items ba? May mga promos? Or like I said, are you creating a new fun combo deal or meal for your customer? Lastly, are you getting enough visibility sa platform? Syempre, hindi enough yung in update nyo lahat sa menu. You have to be active then in the platform. So here are some suggested tools naman from our side. So first off, pad the clicks or let you will stand out with a featured tag, pink tag, and again, you will be um, it will give you added visibility in the platform. Because you're in the all restaurant swim lane. Shempre, aside from being part of um the all restaurant swim lane, you will also be boosted boosted in relevant swim lanes you play in. So kung kunyari, you're part of um a Filip kunyari may Filipino event kami sa may Filipino campaign in Food Panda, then you'll be part of that Filipino campaign if you're a Filipino restaurant. Or there's some specific campaigns that as long as you're part of Panda Clicks, you'll be um, advertised. So it's very easy to be part of that. Next is discount. So this one increases sales by offering deals to customers because there's a pink tag ulit siya with a discount based on deals sa minimum order. Sometimes it'll increase yung basket size nila. Kung kunyari, they have to order um, a minimum of 399 pesos, ganun. So that means, lalo silang order sa inyo kasi alam nilang discounted yun. Diba? Thirdly, we have Panda Box and this one, again, reaches out to new customers kasi it's a pop-up na they will see as soon as they open the app. So it's very good for driving new customers. And lastly, create daily specials naman. And again, yung loyalty rewards. Para at least, um, this seasoned vendor can drive more customers to be interested sa restaurant nila. Now, lastly, our case study three, experienced vendor na siya. Siyempre, kahit experienced vendor ka na, you even if you're steady na on the platform, you still want to gain more. Diba? You want to 
aim higher for the goals you want. So she's been on the Food Panda platform for a year or so, and my daily sales figures are stagnant. So hindi okay yung order volume. It's too steady. Hindi na siya nag increase How do they get the customers to order more? So again, the goal is to get customers to order more. Now, what are some key objectives that you can tie on to increasing the basket size? So first, again, you have you want to set a percentage of how much growth you want. So a higher basket size means more prep work for you and your team. So ensure na ready kayo doon. Siyempre, we don't want um, poor experience, iba? We want quality over quantity. Yeah, naturally, don't forget to keep um, your order volume steady then. Next, increase order volume by blank percent week on week. So, how do we encourage customers to order more? So, syempre, um, regular promotions, di lang visibility yun. It's also the growth for your basket size. Um, next, yung, you have to target the right type of customers appropriately. And of course, you have to ensure that you're maximizing brand recall. So, again, yung brand recall, first, you'll be the first thing that the customer will think of pag sinabi na yung specific na item. Especially pag lunchtime, nag-crave sila na ganito, ah, gusto ko sa blank restaurant. So now, let's think of the strategy. Now, you have to, of course, reach out to premium, higher spending customers. Ito yung mga galante, as I've said, di ba? And then, of course, yung strategy, you have to aim for an average order of blank per day. So, kunyari, per day, you want um, if you're doing small meals, mga 5k in a day, if it's achievable, or if you want, um, if medyo high end yung ano ninyo restaurant, mga um, 7, 7,000 to 10 in a day. Pero kung hindi, syempre, you can go lower na as long as you're achieving it, then that's a good strategy, diba? Now, how do we get there? So, again, Meron ta kailangan natin ng in-store reminders, remind customers na they can enjoy their food in the comfort of their home by ordering on Food Panda. Make um make some noise not just in your store but also online. Next, Panda Pro deal. So Panda Pro is the club for um customers, Food Panda customers that are always active, diba? Again, they are high spending customers. So maximize your marketing budget the on. So you can pre um you can target premium customers. Next, create bundle deals. So meron din mga deals na special for Panda Pro customers. Meron din deals na if they order at this um specific amount, so you can drive higher order volume. Because they have to reach that amount eh, before they get the discount. Next, entice customers with free delivery. So, syempre, again, you free delivery with minimum orders. That's also part of the discount. And we'll discuss more about that. But don't forget to continuously promote your listing through every means available. And make sure na people will enjoy your food regardless. Now, what growth tools? Kanina pa ako nagbimension ng mga growth tools. Panda Box, Panda Clicks, Discount, and Panda Pro. What are these tools to help you reach your goals? Now, we have a couple of tools for you. Which growth tool is right? So, if you want to acquire new customers and increase order rates, it's simple. You can just start with Panda Box. But if you want to boost visibility and boost awareness, start by using Panda Clicks. If you want all four, boosting visibility, awareness, acquiring new customers and increasing order rates, then we have discounts for you so under discounts we have panda pro and a couple more so let's start with panda clicks so starting off with panda clicks here you can reach more customers say you can boost your orders by up to 100 percent you can gain visibility by being top by being one of the top 10 listings under all restaurants section and you have a pink tag that says featured and again uh, aside from being part of um the swim lane, you'll be part of other um, campaigns related to it. And lastly, it's flexible for your budget. Kasi you only pay when the customers click on your listing. Kasha Panda Clicks. So, how do we activate Panda Clicks? So, first off, by going to the portal and going to marketing, select Boost Your Restaurant Visibility and click Continue to Booking. Under that, you will be um, prompted to select yung cost per click. So, this one yung cost now every time a customer clicks on your restaurant. And then, set your monthly budget. So, yung monthly budget ninyo, syempre kung kunyari, 4,000 in a month, yun yung minimum. 
and you want to achieve a couple of clicks for uh, na magkakasya dun sa 4,000. Yan yung bid. So, if you bid for a higher amount, um, the higher you'll be in the swim lane. So, kunyari, 50 pesos per click. And then, in a month, 4,000 yung budget ko. Ikaw-consume ko yung 4,000 na budget na yun. And, I, again, I only pay when customers click naman. So, there's no need to worry if I want my budget. If mataas yung clicks na bid ko, di ba? Na sinet. So, again, if I set it to 50 pesos, then every click is 50 pesos. And then, um in a month, 4,000 pesos yung budget ko na yun. So, it can be like that. And then, after that, you can just read through the terms and conditions. Once you've read through that, tick the box, and then confirm your booking. And you can start as early as tomorrow. Yeah. And it will go on for a month again kasi may monthly budget tayo. So, it's that easy to set it up. Okay, so now that you know about Panda Clicks, let's acquire new customers and increase order rates demand. So in acquiring new customers and increasing order rates, let's start with Panda Box. So why Panda Box? Here you can acquire new customers. You can get up to 25 new customers daily. You can highlight your restaurant in a special in-app pop-up. So ito yun. So may timer siya here. And of course, um, it has a couple of deals on how it works. But again, 15 minutes lang siya available to new customers. And lastly, my guaranteed returns tayo. Kasi you only pay when new customers place an order. Now, syempre, pag bagong customers sila, they've ordered from you, You, your restaurant, makikita nila sa your restaurant swim lane. Kasi naka-order na sila. So anytime, pwede nilang balik-balikan yun, yung restaurant ninyo. Nasa pinaka-top na swim lane yun. So anyway, let's move on to how to acquire Panda Box. Now, to activate it, of course, again, go to marketing and then select acquire new customers and click continue to booking. So after clicking continue to booking, you will see this page and then determine the number of new customers you'd like per day. So in a day, kunyari ito, sinet niyang five. So I want five customers in a day. So kung kunyari in one month na achieve niyo yung five customers in a day, then you'll get 150 new customers in a month. Diba? Imagine 150 new customers aside from the loyal ones that you've been getting. And then after that, you can just um, read the terms and conditions and click or tick the checkbox here now that you have read it and then start the campaign. That's how easy it is to activate Panda Box. Yeah, so again, um, new customers siya or old customers that haven't ordered in the past 90 days. And then the pop-up will only last for 15 minutes or so and then, that's it. Makikita na nila yung restaurant ninyo. Now, let's acquire all of these. Yung boost visibility, awareness, acquire new customers, and increase order rates. These are all found under discounts. So, in discounts, we have three types. First off, yung Panda Pro for the premium customers. Next, yung discounts, the main one with the percentages. And of course, we also have Pickup. So, let's start with Panda Pro. So, so Panda Pro, you can reach premium customers. You can tap into the top 10% of high-value customers who order and spend two times more. So again, ano sila, nasa club sila ng mga high spenders talaga. And of course, you can gain additional exposure kasi kung Panda Pro partner ka, you'll be part of Panda Pro's different campaigns. So like this one, may special uh, monthly free food delivery voucher si Panda Pro, exclusive to Panda Pro customers, then automatically, part kayo ng campaign or marketing nila. And lastly, high return on investment siya. Kasi it's proven and tested na the Panda Pro users are definitely the revenue generators here. Kasi they spend up to three times, ay, they spend so much that they um, generate three times more revenue compared to average customers. Now, how do we become a uh, Panda Pro Partner. Now, this one is for the fixed Panda Pro discount. No? So, log into the restaurant portal and go to marketing from the left side and select get more orders. So, yun yung pinaka third sa options. Yeah. So, ito siya. And then, after that, click on continue to booking and you will see um, yung Panda Pro sa left most side. And there, it's a pre-fixed 30% um discount. So, click on join and then read through the terms and conditions. After that, Click on the check and you're ready after you've clicked on confirm. Yeah. So that is again the 
prefix na na discount. You can also create your own discounts under create discounts. Now, how do you customize that? So again, by being a Panda Pro partner with your own discount, click on create discount and then select Panda Pro. After that, customize your discounts type. So it could be anything you want. And of course, in discount value up to whatever percent, 25, 30%. And then once you're done, just schedule um the date when you'd like the promotion to be live. And of course, after that, you can just review the discount, read through the terms and conditions, and again, tick the check box and confirm. That's how easy it is. Let's move on to discounts. Now, why discounts? Here you can boost your sales because it attracts more customers with a special pink tag. Now, this special pink tag is different from the PandaClick's featured tag because this pink tag niya is the discount itself. So like this one, there's 20, there's 15 dito, And this one can drive an average of 16% increase in revenue and 13% increase in new customer orders, and it's proven and tested. A lot of our vendors with discounts uh, are getting more attraction from customers. Yeah. And again, you can book today for an immediate boost as early as tomorrow. Now, how do we activate discounts? So first off, go on again some marketing and then get more orders. Click on offer 20% discount. So ayan na siya. This one's more fixed. And if you want to create a customized discount, you can just do the same thing as Panda Pro kanina. Create discounts. But instead, don't select Panda Pro. Just click on the everyday discount one. But aside from that, after you've selected everything, just um, read the terms and conditions and tick on the checkbox down here and click confirm. After that, you're ready to go. Ganun siyang kadali. Now, we also have the last one, yung pick up. So I haven't really mentioned this a lot in the previous slides. But this one, of course, it is for customers who are more into, um, who are outside. Kunyari, ayaw nila nang matagal na maghintay. So you can drive more orders by getting vendors or getting customers to order from you. So usually, they have their own discounts and special promos. So it encourages them to order self-pick up. Now, next of course, it can know your physical store. Kung gusto nila mag dine in sa inyo, it's also an option. So, choosing pickup, kung kunyari malapit sa office nila yung ano, if hindi sila makapag um, dine in, they can do pickup, but at least they know where your restaurant is. And of course, it can drive a higher basket order. Kasi, again, there are deals on pickup. So, if ever there are, um, kunyari, minimum order of blank pesos to get 10% off on pickup, then that's another way to drive um, a higher basket order for them or basket volume. And setting up pickup is the same as going to, is the same as signing up for Panda Pro. You can just select it, select pickup from the discounts um, page and read the terms and conditions and click confirm. That's how easy it is. So now let's move on to our Q&A. Okay. So we've got our first question. Ano po ang duration ng Panda Pro? So ito yung commitment duration. No? So how long will you be part of, the, of Panda Pro? How long will you be a Panda Pro vendor? The promotion will run based on your specified start date. So kung kunyari today ka nag-start as a Panda Pro or nag-join, then it will continuously run until you decide to cancel it. So yung cancellation nito, um, it must be requested 30 days before your desired end date. Pero syempre, we don't um, encourage canceling Panda Pro because it's a big opportunity to get more orders, diba? But all you have to do is check the commitment, uh, minimum commitment period under the terms and conditions. I hope I answered that. Okay, next question. Will I be charged for unsuccessful orders pag kinancel ng customer? Or ng food panda, yung panda box. Okay, so no, don't worry. Only successful orders will be charged sa panda box fees natin. So kahit na um, galing sa panda box promo yung order nila, tapos yun nga, unsuccessful siya, canceled by the customer or food panda, then you won't be charged. Um, okay, so how much does it cost to sign up for panda box? So there is no cost involved in signing up. 
Pero restaurants are charged 50% of the Panda Box order. So, um, on the other hand naman, everything's free. So, you can sign up for Panda Box and set as many custom new customers per day you'd like. So, yeah. Um, okay, last question before we end this session is, can I set a start date to my Panda Clicks promotion? So, um, Panda Click promotions are usually um, automatic. So, it starts within 24 hours of booking. So, make sure you plan your offers accordingly. Now, in terms of canceling Panda Clicks, it's not possible to cancel it. You cannot end it midway through. Ang minimum niya is 30 days. So, mostly, if you start mid-month, no kunyari, 15th of the month, it will always end on the following month. So, kailangan first day of each month until the end of the month. So, kung kunyari, um, January 1 to January 31, 31 ng January siya mag-end. Pero kung kunyari, you started ng 15, January 15, then minimum niya is 30 days, pero hindi pa rin siya mag-end mid-February kasi it will end ng February 28 or 29 kung may leap year. <laughs> but yeah, that's how Panda Clicks, um, yung duration of Panda Clicks work. So that's all the questions that we have for today. And with that, ako naman ang may question sa inyo. Are you ready to scale up your business with us? And I hope you all are. Kasi the learning does not stop here. We have a couple of useful links here that you can scan in QR code. You may pause here or go back later on. So you can visit the restaurant portal. And then again, it's here. The marketing tools are here. It's a one-stop platform for managing your business. So we also have university guides. So we have step-by-step -step guides and videos to help you get started on your platform. If this was too much information, you can go to specific topics need to say university guides. And of course, we also have our social channel to keep you um, up to date course on the social uh, on the latest tips and tricks for scaling your business then and of course we also have announcements coming in through viber and sms and lastly we have university youtube which you are already in and if you want to check out other panda classes and other um, youtube videos we also have it here so feel free to scan these qr codes and i hope you've learned so much from this panda class and may you continue to thrive more in food panda Thank you and bye for now.